Before beginning a session, we recommend you go to Instruments 2, detach it, maximize, and put it in Edit Layout Mode. In all list designs are created to leave as many feedback options as possible, allowing the end user to choose. A very important tool for managing the feedback is the Volumes tool. Here you'll have access to any of the sounds that are used for feedback. Now the sounds are playing and they're auto-adjusting according to the signal, but they can be mixed and turned on and off here. The sliders adjust the volume. The checkboxes enable and disable. A note about binaural beats, you'll need to use headphones if you want to use this feature. To get a finer adjustment, double click on the name of the object you'd like to adjust. This is the MIDI object. It has several instruments to choose from. You can change the instrument that's played as well as the scale and the key that it's played in according to your preferences. If you have digital files such as MP3, double click, press Add, and go to the folder where you keep your files. Double click and OK. The video will be loaded the same way. For CD and DVD, insert your disc. Double click and you can see the tracks available. Now for DVD, be sure to close the DVD player if it opens automatically and access to the Designs DVD players at the bottom here. And adjust the sounds according to your desire as you get ready for the session. And then click Play. To have the DVD controlled as feedback, there's a Control button in the toolbar. Press Control. And if you press full, you can train in full screen mode. <laughs> 